While Apple Pay enabled nonprofit donations right inside the app, you might have missed cutting back on food waste, how Pong is relevant in a world first brain implant, and the NBA's numerical revolution. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where football players training with virtual reality headgear is just the beginning, y'all. Normally, when we talk about statistic obsessed American sports, baseball is the first to spring to mind. I mean, even I liked Moneyball, and not because I related. Like an island of misfit toys. But thanks to a new program first created by the EPFL, basketball will soon undergo its own numerical revolution. The Playful Vision system uses artificial intelligence armed with computer vision to capture and analyze on-court action. A series of cameras set up around the court snap 25 times a second and track everything from body position to rebounds and fouls. The National Basketball Association just signed a seven-year agreement with the company that bought it from the EPFL to use Playful Vision in games starting next year, which will likely spur an abundance of data. So let's get the right man for the job in here to celebrate. We just showed you how brain implants are helping paralyzed monkeys walk, but this is truly revolutionary. For the first time, an ALS patient who was clinically locked in, aka unable to communicate, had a brain implant and is now able to type words with the power of thought. The implant is matched to a chest transmitter and she trained to use it by playing Pong, which is something that thrilled her doctors, and let's be real, every child of the 70s. The patient, a Dutch national, now says she's able to live a more independent life because she can communicate. Keep it up. And finally, this Kickstarter is not at all near funded, but it does seem like a cool idea, so we're sharing it anyways. It's called Food for All, and it's an app designed to curtail some of the food waste we have in the US. It links catering companies to either people or charities who want to buy extra food just before it's thrown out for less money, of course. So far, the pilot is just going on in Cambridge, Massachusetts, but they want to launch next in Boston and New York. You all should come to Silicon Valley. We are up to here with wasted food. 